Hello all, and welcome back to High Priest React DuckTales Season 3, Episode 2, Quack Pack. I, uh, uh, ended up screwing up my, uh, beginning of the recording. Not the episode. We haven't gotten to the episode yet, but I've already seen the spoiler in thumbnail, and thanks to other things. Goofy, I know Goofy was already going to be in the next couple episodes, and now I know for sure he's in this one. I see Goofy. Goof Troop Goofy. I'm excited, but, right, just go right through what I said, Quack Pack, reference to one of the worst sh shows, not Disney Duck shows, uh, the come out of uh, the Disney Afternoon. I liked it as a kid, but I also barely paid attention to it as a kid, so that's probably why I, I liked it more than uh, I do now. <laughs> uh, and, uh... I'm excited for more Disney Afternoon and stuff. This episode, I think this episode will mostly focus on that. We'll probably have a few hooks related to uh, the main plot. And either D Donald and Goofy don't know each other, and they're going to become friends here. Or they do know each other, and they've always been friends. I don't know which one they're going with. Could be either. Uh... Else that I, I just want to cover briefly. Sorry, uh, I, I think about this in the afternoon uh, and YouTube's uh, got me thinking about Retchy Rangers. Uh, <laughs> I started humming the theme song. <laughs> okay. I I am at a loss uh, anything else to say to say in regard to the episode. I think I said more, but I uh, also said it in a much more... Oh, yeah. I th I think the part of the reason why I didn't take Don Carnage's original showing and uh, the new show is because I got hyped. Uh, yeah, cause if you, yeah, you're new here. I, I didn't take well to episode. Because I saw the name of the episode uh, ahead of time. I knew it had Don Carnage in it. And I got super hyped for like a week. And then I watched it, and I wasn't the hilarious voice of the original Don Carnage, or something that sounded like it at least. And I didn't proceed to get disappointed. And the thing is, I, I, I couldn't realize if I had just been surprised by it, I would have taken it much better. But I got myself hyped up. That's part of why I don't like spoilers from shows like these, even if it's a minor one of, oh, the new character is in. Admittedly, I don't think there's much they could do with Goofy that would uh not be as good as the original, at least. So, I don't think that's as much a problem. But, uh, yeah. Let's get to this. What's going on here? Why is... Is this a sitcom... Is this a his sitcom? Okay, so I'm thinking ancient the kids are wearing outfits semi inspired by their own one. Everybody else is wearing outfit their older outfits and that's all I'm saying. So it literally is just a sitcom. They're trapped in some sitcom surreal sitcom world thing. They got Donald with an actual with the voice back, which, yes, thank you. It's not right as a permanent thing, but it's great as a temporary thing. Uh, I do like the uh, showing of the alternative outfits and things. Oh. oh that top track, Jesus Christ. This is some sort of weird dream world. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of weird. I was expecting it was Donald who was at the center, but suddenly Huey being somewhere is. Uh... Wait, that was a cut. That was the photographer guy. That is definitely the exact guy. I wonder if he's just at the core of this dream thing. Okay, so the other one who isn't in a reference to the old outfit. 
is but it's a secret, so we have to play it. Very, but still not a usual one. Again, it seems to be part of this mystical prison thing instead of just Hi, Goofy. And regular part of the show, but tomorrow some ketchup. I'm a photographer. Okay, that's what actually is that funny. Thank you, thank you. And for our next <laughs> this is great! I love it. And uh Baba Network. <laughs> he made a wish. Your wish is my command. I wish for this five times a day. How was I supposed to know this time there'd be a lamp under me? <laughs> oh, I love that too, he's loving it. Also, also, it was. Hey, where do you think you're going, Patrick? You've been able to wish us out this whole time. Come on, it's not so bad here, is it? Okay, so yeah, he was fully aware of it the whole time, and yeah, this guy's cheating from the movie. The loss? But it's not who we are. We go I was not expecting him. Defy danger. You see, that's what makes us. And I assume they'll reboot the show eventually. So, forever? Yeah, sorry. Oh my god, at least three seasons. God damn, this episode's me is better as fuck. An actually human audience. Okay. This episode's got going places I never thought I'd see. <laughs> that was great. That's the best. <laughs> Please tell me Goofy actually leaves with them. Best are ones that aren't all made of a memory. And Roxanne, and I am getting just a bit of teary eyes from this. Every family has a Okay, seriously, what is Goofy's part in this? I'm just wondering more and more. Seriously, this might as well be left field the episode. Nobody laughing, never sounded so good. This is a good episode because I don't know where time went. I could have sworn I just started this episode. I could have sworn this uh, this episode started like five minutes ago and then suddenly it was ending and I'm like, what? Oh my god! Ah, uh, I hope I didn't talk to him about the trouble editing, but oh my god! Ah, oh, it's definitely one of my favorite episodes in the series. The, the moment with Goofy and the pictures, and I don't know what it was about that scene, that moment. It, but I did start to tear up. The genie bring, bringing in Goofy, even if he was, may or may not have actually been a friend of the family, is, is great. I mean, I, and I can only hope this means he's going to get his own spinoff. It's maybe we don't have won't have young Max hanging out with, uh, the, the, you know, with the uh, triplets. I a part of me would love the idea of taking every kid sidekick character from every uh of the big Disney. Uh, afternoon shows, bringing them all together and just letting them off on their own adventure. But, eh, this works. 
Besides Goslin still a thing. But oh man, Goofy, but and with this episode we should hopefully get more. Ah just this episode's just Okay, so the quack pack. First of all, brilliant way to work in the one part nobody thought you'd actually do because it was already a duck property. A Disney duck property. The swapping out of everyone's outfits. The meta awareness. The humans! I. Humans are generally a thing you see in the show. And. That's the audience, and, uh, and of course, they're kind of horrified. I mean, to be fair, even uh, other humans would probably be horrified at seeing humans that look like that, exactly. But still, like, just humans freak them out. And I, I do, and it, this was the genie from, uh, the movie, straight up. Same outfit, same style, everything. I knew Do Donald, I thought Donald was the originally the center of it, because his voice. And the way everything was going, this had to be something to do with Donald. Some sort of, either dream sequence or something. Then who he started being aware of, and I was like, what? Why is he aware? And then, it started to, and it's right. No, it was just he was jarred out of it by uh, the prop. I do a lot. Oh, we we totally have a fourth wall. Oh, really? Then why aren't you looking at it? And then they turn, look, just turn their eyes, actually directly look at it, and it's like <laughs> just ah, oh, this episode was great. Ah, I love this episode. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. I didn't... I was not expecting this. This was... And if I... I, would, I probably would have been happier if I had known, not known about the Goofy ahead of time in this particular episode, but... God damn it. That was great. Ah, oh, that was just fantastic. Goofy was good. Don, the return of the Donald's uh, translated voice. Uh, you know, the return of, uh, you know, outfits at least based on their old outfits. It might not seem as much with the duck, with uh, the triplets. But that's what they, or at least a lot like what they wore in Quack Pack. Of course, it wasn't a, a seamless duplicate of that Quack because they didn't act like, uh, well, every teenage stereotype in the 90s. N 90s. Like, oh, Jesus. That is what they were like in Quack Pack. And, well, again, when I was young, I liked that. As an adult, it was, uh, it dumb. It dumb. <laughs> I love the fact that while Donald was one who wished for uh, it, the basics of this, the whole I'm in a sitcom and everybody laugh at, at laughs at my jokes made uh, clearly made Dewey very, very happy. Ah, oh, man. And, yeah, we saw the actual Roxanne, and, of course... We've already had power line references before. It's like, ah, this episode. I love it. I love it. Ah. Sit. Hands down. This is probably one of my favorite in the series, period. When this, when this show is over, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a top ten up for the best favorite episodes in the series. Not this season, but I mean, like, in general. Uh, remind me. I will probably forget. <laughs> ah. Man. This was fantastic. I, 
you, you understand? I almost never get that lost in anything outside of Ruby. But especially a TV show reaction. I usually try to keep a, a big tenth of time. I can usually tell if, you know, at least 20 minutes have passed. I didn't feel that long. Even when I, it, it was clearly the resolution, I was like, I, it wasn't until the last possible moment that I realized, oh, the episode's going to end. And by that, I mean literally right when the fucking at credits start. Ugh. It's great. That's not a frustrating try. That's a happy. I'm like, this episode really drew me in. I love that. Ah. This is <sighs> and, yeah, I figured out there was something wrong with it, something up with that guy the moment we saw him in the commercial, and it was clearly the same dude. And then his reaction to, your spy was, I mean, uh, I'm not a spy. ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing at the various dumb bits, like, I'm not a spy, that, that's seriously supposed to be my catchphrase, and, of course, Stella is, uh, represent, I did that all the time on the moon, followed by horrible, awful th things it was. Aww. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I love this episode. Ah. I'm sorry. I just... I was not expecting this thing this good. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what episodes are coming next. I know it'll be a week before they air uh, next, but... Oh. I didn't realize who, uh, Billy Stella... Hecate Brewster. I, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy with this episode. Alright, well, I've got to go. I can't keep this up forever. I'm not really adding anything. I'm just fanboying here. This is hands down my favorite episode yet. And I might have to cut more than I usually like to with... Uh, which is, which if you've seen my other episodes, you know it's not exactly a lot. Because I usually edit out a lot. In fairness, I only edit out the empty, ball, empty, noiseless parts. The parts where I don't say shit. But. I think I might have to cut some actual talking. Depending on how long I uh, think, if uh, I didn't put enough space between saying things. That's, you know, part of the point of taking notes, so uh, if I need to say something, I want to know, but I didn't take much notes. I can do more talking because this episode, you know, got that out of me. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to go. And I free signing out. And I will see you all next time, folks.